Hey guys, Munchies here, and we're gonna go over Brawl Shazza Gate 2 real quick, and specifically the orange orb mechanic. So, I noticed I've been doing a lot of 1s and 2s, and I'll usually volunteer to do one of these orbs, and what ends up happening is people will uh, either just not volunteer, not say anything, and then someone will just be like, alright, I'm tired of waiting, and then they'll volunteer, and then they kinda don't really do it that often, and they go in blind, and they're not quite sure, and then they get hit by two, and then they lose it, and then it creates this mess of diamonds flying everywhere. So I'm just gonna go over a few things, and let's get started. Okay, so when this mechanic starts, Procal will be around 135 bars. He will spawn these three orange orbs, and he will spawn three spinning cards that shoot diamonds everywhere. If you ever find it difficult to gather some of the orbs because they get stuck together, you can kind of dance towards them and make sure you don't touch them. Just dance towards them and then one will start drifting towards you and you can grab it. Another thing to note is these spinning cards always go clockwise. So when they spawn and you're going to pick up your node, take note of where they shoot. They will always go clockwise from that direction. Once you have your orange ball and you know which direction it's spinning, you can have a pretty generous range of where you can move and you can just go one by one. Generally, people start at six, at least all the groups that I've been in start at six and they go up towards 11 and then towards one o'clock. Now, as you go to delete these spinning cards, you have to be within this circle. So if you're just standing near it and you are close to it and you think it should go off, you're probably not in the circle or it has disappeared. If you take a while to get rid of them, they will disappear, but they will come back. And also never stand directly on top of the diamond because the diamonds spawn on there and you will get hit and lose your orange debuff. And the last thing is also the first thing that you should know is if you grab two of these orange orbs, as in if you have the debuff on your feet already and you grab the second one, you will die. And I'm mentioning this because if you take a while to kill the first one, orange balls will spawn in the middle of the spinning cards. And once they start spawning, they'll start tracking people. So if you already have one of the orange debuffs on your feet and you touch this orb while you're running towards the circle to destroy it, you will die. But that is all for this video. And if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. I hope this helps one of you guys and makes you more confident in doing these orange ores because nobody volunteers in your group. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.